Hello again, Fishalots. It's Johnny Fishalot here, and I want to talk to you about this neat little device called a bobbin. And this is an absolutely wonderful thing to have if you're really going to get into the strongest of the strong line to line connection knots, including the PR knot. So let me take you through it, walk you through what it is, what the pieces are, and how to rig it up in order to tie something like a PR knot. So first up, this is a Nobi bobbin. They make all sorts of different sizes and kinds. This is one of the cheaper ones or less expensive ones out on the market. Shimano makes a really good one too, but it's super expensive. It breaks the bank. This comes in at like 20 to 30 bucks and it's been working great for me for about two years now, maybe even more than that. So this is the top of the bobbin right here. This is where your line is gonna go in. Here's the pipe where it feeds around the reel. This is really like a small fishing reel. It's got a drag system right here. You can loosen it, you could tighten it up. Again, depending on the type you buy, some of these drag systems are smoother than others. And then of course, here's your rubber backing that's actually going to hold your line before you spool it onto the reel itself. So let me show you exactly how to get this thing rigged up in order to tie something like a PR knot. First is you take your tag end and you're gonna put it through the top of the bobbin, just like I said, and it's gonna come out of that pipe right there. Now, you're gonna be ready to start tying that PR knot. So first step is you wanna take this line and you wanna actually wrap it into this rubber fitting that I showed you right here. This keeps the line in place for when you start spinning and spooling the line around your bobbin. So just wedge it in there, give it a little bit of power right there, and there you go, ready to go. And now I'm gonna start reeling on the line onto the bobbin right here, just like this. Now, how many of you guys tie fishing lines and fishing knots and you always kind of skimp out on the line? This way you don't have much of a tag line to cut off, right? Like you're gonna be saving yourself some money in line or something like that. The bobbin is not where you wanna do that. You are going to literally spin this thing really fast around monofilament or fluorocarbon or whatever you're connecting your braid to. And if you don't spool enough line onto your reel right here, this thing can fly off and hit you right in the face. So safety first here at Fishing with Johnny Fishalot. And look, that's it. So you basically turn this thing around and you tightened up your drag. Now here's the trick to when you start tying this thing. You wanna wrap this around and you wanna give it a good, a good tug. If you're able to pull this out too easily, you need to tighten up your drag. Now me, I got this set a little tight. I really have to put some force on here to get the, uh, to get the line out, so I need to loosen it up. You don't want it too tight and you don't want it too loose because when you start spinning this, you want it to go on nice and tight and even around your line to create that awesome PR knot. So this is about it right here. If you can pull this just like that and get the line out, that's great. That's exactly what you want and that'll be perfect for your PR knots. And hey, if you found this useful, go ahead and click on this end card right here, where I actually show you a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to use a bobbin in tying the strongest of the strong line-to-line -line connection knots. All right, fish lots, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you out there on the water.